In part four, we're going to explore two measurement concepts, criterion deficiency and criterion contamination. First, let's review the basics of predictors and criteria. Criteria are the standards or the yardsticks that we use to measure employees' success or failure. IO psychologists commonly focus on job performance as a criterion, but they might also measure attitudes, motivation, or other desired outcomes of the organization. In some situations, like selection, we use multiple predictors to predict a criterion. We might use two or three selection tests in order to predict who's going to be the best performers. Here's a list of examples of predictors and criteria. I highly recommend that you save this slide. IO psychologists might measure the quantity or the quality of output. They can look at things like lost time due to tardiness, absenteeism. They can look at trainability and promotability. For instance, how long it takes someone to learn a new skill or how willing they are to learn that skill. They can also use subjective ratings of performance and they might focus on counterproductive work behaviors as opposed to desirable behaviors. Remember that the goal is to find a predictor that explains a great deal of variance in the criterion data. Let's assume for the purposes of this lecture that the criterion we are trying to measure is job performance. The ultimate criterion or the theoretical criterion is the best, the most perfect measure of job performance. It measures all aspects of performance. The ultimate criterion is conceptual in nature. Because it's perfect, because it's the ideal measure, we can never fully measure job performance. We are humans, we make mistakes, we don't know everything there is to know, even with the best technology. We assume that every time we take a measurement, there is some error inherent in the process. The ultimate criterion exists out there, we don't know what it looks like, and we'll never be able to create it. But that doesn't stop us from trying. An IO psychologist's job is to come as close to that ultimate criterion as possible. The actual measure that the IO psychologist creates is called the actual criterion or the observed criterion. The ultimate criterion is the goal, which we will never reach. The actual criterion is what we create for our purposes. When our measure, the actual criterion, fails to completely capture the ultimate criterion, the measure is deficient. It's missing important components. Imagine we want to hire an administrative assistant but the work sample that we administer does not assess the applicant's ability to type using a computer. Because typing is such an important part of the job, and because our measure doesn't assess typing, our criterion measure is deficient. This is one of the reasons why we often use more than one predictor. Each predictor overlaps with a different part of the ultimate criterion. In the Venn diagram, the overlap between the ultimate criterion and the actual criterion is called criterion relevance. This represents what we're doing well in terms of measuring the construct. The aspects of the ultimate criterion that we are not covering represent criterion deficiency. Our criterion measures can also be contaminated. They might measure or represent behaviors or constructs that have nothing to do with job performance. 
when a measure is contaminated, it's gathering information that we don't need. Imagine again, we're hiring an administrative assistant and we require applicants to show us that they can lift heavy boxes. But lifting heavy boxes is not part of the job. Contamination can also occur because our measure isn't reliable, because the raters are biased, because test takers cheat, or due to some other phenomenon that we are not studying. Imagine we interview each one of the applicants for the administrative assistant position. The interviewer then rates each one of the applicants. Inevitably, that rater is going to make some mistakes, and those mistakes are also considered contamination. Here is a simple Venn diagram that you can use to complete this week's homework assignments.